it's just got fully detailed, which is super nice because it's cleaner than it's ever been, even when I bought it. Um, and welcome back to the channel, Resurrect Diesel. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time, so I feel like I'm new at this. Um, we have a lot to talk about, though, a lot. So hopefully my battery doesn't die or anything. Um, I know I've been holding now. I meant to make this video sooner. It's gonna be a little bumpy here. We're going down dirt road. Um, so we got a lot of big news. Sorry, someone want to make sure no one's coming. Uh, yeah, I'm sure as you can tell by the thumbnail or the title, we are moving. We have a couple months left in California at this point. So also, I do apologize if I haven't got back to your emails or or your messages or anything. I'm also getting all the spam messages, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are. So I do apologize. Bear with me. I've been all over the place flying back and forth to Florida and it's just been been kind of wild. So uh, hold on one second. I gotta take the sweatshirt off. It's too hot. So we've been all over the place trying to figure everything out, trying to see how this is all gonna work. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the Instagram post. We did buy a 34 foot gooseneck um, that is going to help us with the move. There's just, there's a lot of things going on. But at this point, we have secured a shop. And I don't know if some of you guys have picked up. I know a few of you have. We are moving to Panama City Beach, Florida with a good old Bertrand 850. So I know probably most of you guys who watch this channel watch his. Uh, so you gotta know who he is. Dalton, great guy. He has the General Lee Duramax. Um, we're partnering up with him and we're going to be moving our shop down there. So the timeline for everything, we have a few jobs to wrap up in California, a few things we still gotta take care of. But we're looking to move like beginning mid-May down to Florida. So you will get to experience that journey with us. I am also still in school, guys. I know you guys have heard me say it before. So my days are pretty much full from sun up to sun down. So when we move, I will not be doing any extracurricular activity. It'll just be the shop and filming and a lot of fun. So I'm super excited. We're gonna have a lot of crazy stuff coming with you. And let me tell you what, Bertrand's 07 Prius thing is an absolute unit. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, we, we got some plans for that coming. So, so make sure to stay tuned to both channels for that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. But, so we are, going to be taking off from California, going down to Panama City Beach. We put an offer in on a house, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, this is just kind of, you know, a, a life update video at that is, you know, we, we got a lot of crazy stuff going on. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me if I'm trying to have all the windows closed, but um, so it, it's just been back and forth with houses that were in bad shape and we went down there, checked them out and they just weren't it. So we finally secured a spot. We got a shop, so the shop's getting renovated right now. We should be moving in May, in May. Um, and then in June, we have a booth at Daytona Truck Meet. So if you guys are going to Daytona, it'll be me. Uh, it'll be a resurrected diesel booth. We're right at the entrance. Um, Mile High Duramax will be there in our booth and uh, Bertrand 850's truck will be in the booth too. So if you guys wanna come down, you can see us all there. And you know, hang out with us, come check the trucks out, and we're just trying to get our name out in the area. So we will be at Daytona. Um, so that's kind of the big thing. We're expecting, hopefully if everything goes well, obviously this stuff is up for changing and all that stuff. If everything goes well, we will be planning a grand opening truck show on, uh, on I think it's July 3rd. It's a Saturday, the 4th is a Sunday. We will be taking off the Monday to recover and then our grand opening of the shop for business should be in on the 6th I believe so fourth uh, yeah so like Tuesday the 6th we'll actually be opening our doors for business um, obviously we're bringing everything that we do on this channel down there with us so if you need any work done to your Duramax Cummins and hopefully power strokes we can get into doing that um, we haven't done too many on the channel but you know willing to learn and kind of get good at them is uh, we will 
be taking on all our jobs down in Panama City, Florida. So if you guys are in the local area, feel free. You know, it is still a place of business. So if you, you know, we, we don't really need people hanging out, but if you do need work done or you want to come buy some merch or anything, we will have a storefront and everything like that. So it's been a crazy move. Obviously, as we move, I will show you guys the location and fill you in on everything. We just need to secure a few details first. So it's been wild. It's been a crazy weekend. We were actually just in Florida. I don't know if you guys saw any of our posts or anything. And uh, pretty much just figuring out the whole area, the whole move and everything. So, you know, it, it's sad to, to leave California. We have such a nice setup and everything is so great here, but how expensive everything is, some of the, the stuff we have to deal with out here, is just, it's, it's beginning to get too much for uh, what we're doing. So we're looking to, to pick up and move. It's been a thought for a while, but you know, we still want to keep some ties out here. So obviously the guys at the shop out here, they're not all coming with us. They are still going to do some fabrication work and some, some other stuff here. So if you're in the local area and you need some help, we will, you know, still be able to help you out. But the main shop is going to be moving. So, or, or the business is moving itself. We'll still, you know, be able to help you out out here with some stuff like track bars or anything like that so we will you know definitely try to keep it working on both sides you know but thankfully we have solid guys out here that will take care of you um, and, and just a little background you know is what well, I'm not from here <laughs> I'm not from California uh, I originally was from Rhode Island on the East Coast. I came out here for the military, so I did five years in the Marine Corps. I uh, got a super good opportunity, which I am forever grateful for, to work with Eric up at the shop. And uh, I think it, it's just time to go do our own thing. And uh, I, I'm excited for it. I think it's some growth that we need and uh, ready to be back on the East Coast for sure. So that is some things to expect in the next few months so again I do apologize for you know the the lack of getting back to you with emails and stuff is like between work and school and all this craziness it's just been been off the wall so I will definitely try to keep you guys informed and expect that the YouTube channel is gonna pick up a lot sooner now or, or not pick up but like we're gonna be posting more so we're gonna be posting a lot more videos in in the few you know months to come so we're gonna really strive to show more of what we do versus just kind of a build here a build there so we're it, it, it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a lot of fun so I'm excited there's gonna be some cool builds coming your way um, some crazy stuff that we want to do as a shop once we get established and all that stuff so you know if, if you guys are from the area or within driving range you know a couple hours from the area you know drop it down in the comments below and uh, you know, just let me know where you're from because uh, we'll be in the area. So I definitely look forward to doing business down there with all you guys. I have to take some parts to powder coat right now. Um, and in the rest of the video, you're going to see us put the new tow mirrors on the Duramax. So stay tuned, enjoy, and we will see you guys in the next video. What's up and good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Resurrected Diesel channel. We are putting the tow mirrors that Eric got me onto the LML. So the good old shop truck. We're also going to give it a bath after, but, uh, so you've seen when I did the sound system on this truck, I pretty sure I went over how to take the doors off, uh, a little busted here, but, uh, we won't talk about that, but anywho, uh, you're going to get your door stripped off, which is like two bolts underneath the handle. Um, there's two bolts, uh, the handle covers this. You can pop this off just to take out the connectors. Um, you have to pop this off and slide it up. You just pull the tab out and it slides right out. Uh, there's two bolts behind the like the handle here that go into the door and there's one in front of the handle once you get that bad boy off you do have to disconnect this out of your handle to open the door so it's just uh, pull a little ball out and there's two little push connectors but once you get this out you're going to come down here and this is where your factory mirrors are mounted is right here behind this little foam piece in the door so we're gonna pull the wires out first you don't want to be holding the mirror and trying to do that and then we'll take the nuts off and the mirror should come right out now with that with the mirrors off that's the easy part but the hard part is with the new mirrors they are the 20 like 15 style here and uh, we already got them color matched so 
Look at that. Bam. Uh, the only thing is though, these have reverse lights, so we need to wire in the reverse lights and everything. So we will be installing these and uh, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. So just like that, we got the new one installed. It's just the three bolts. I love these mirrors too. Um, so now we just ran the wire from back here. It's these three. Uh, you plug it back into your factory harness, then we need to run this wire for the, uh, the reverse lights. Now, when I ran my speaker wire through here, it kind of took up all the room. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything else through that, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So it's pretty much the mission at hand is figure out what these wires are for because the instructions don't tell us or there are no instructions. So uh, obviously one's power, I'm pretty sure one's ground, but they're white and gray instead of white and black or red and black or anything. So who really knows? We're gonna try and figure that out though. So we got everything buttoned up. We still got a wire in the reverse lights, but damn. Look at that. Looking way better. Everything should work. Um, we haven't tested yet. We still got our wire to run for the reverse lights. We're gonna run to the trailer backup lights. Uh, we're gonna do the other side now and hopefully get it done real quick. What is that? We are installing the tweeters that I never finished installing <laughs> when I did my sound system. So we had to get a little creative with our mount here, so we're gooping it in. But it's pretty good. We're gonna run the wires down and then feed into our speaker wire. So just doing a little extra while we already have the door off and everything. But the reverse lights are all wired up, so we'll show that in a second and we're gonna wash this thing. Just like that, we have a clean truck, all washed up. Lights are fully installed, the tweeters are installed, everything's installed, my camera's dead. Uh, so we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching the video, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully it helped you if you need to install it, or I don't know, just see what we're doing over here. So that's gonna do it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a